Tropical Storm Jerry strengthened into a Category 1 hurricane Thursday morning and is expected to pass north of Puerto Rico on Saturday and east of the Bahamas on Sunday, before taking aim at an already storm-sacked Bermuda early next week. Hurricane Jerry is one of six named storms whirling at once in the Atlantic and Pacific this week, setting a record. While Humberto and Kiko were spinning in the Atlantic and Eastern Pacific, four new tropical cyclones formed Tuesday, Amelda and Jerry in the Atlantic Basin and Mario and Lorena in the Eastern Pacific Basin. The Weather Channel reported. The National Hurricane Center said Jerry was centered about 490 miles east of the Leeward Islands and is moving west-northwest at 16 miles per hour. Forecasters at the National Weather Service warned of life-threatening surf and rip current conditions for portions of the Leeward Islands Thursday afternoon. The NH Chaz issued a tropical storm watch for Barbuda, Anguilla, St. Martin, St. Martin, St. Barthelemy, Saba and St. Eustatius. On Wednesday night, Hurricane Humberto, a Category 3 storm, blew off rooftops, toppled trees and knocked out power to thousands living in Bermuda. Security Minister Wayne Keynes said schools and government offices would remain closed Thursday and asked people to stay off roads while emergency crews clear them and remove power lines damaged by the hurricane, which had winds of about 120 miles per hour at its nearest approach to the British Atlantic island. About 28,000 people on the island of 70,000 people remained without power Thursday morning. We've made it through and everyone is safe, Premier David Burt said. That's what is most important. The NHC said Humberto would still kick up high surf in Bermuda and along the east coast. The storm had maximum sustained winds of 110 miles per hour late Thursday morning with tropical storm force winds extending outward for 405 miles, covering a huge swath of ocean. Separately, a brush with land near Puerto Vallarta knocked newly formed Hurricane Lorena back down to a tropical storm, though forecasters are predicting it will likely strengthen again and would come close to the Los Cabos Resort area at the tip of the Baja California Peninsula by Friday night or Saturday.